uh, in '97, you had this breakout fight, which made which endeared you to a generation of fight fans, myself included. When you fought Neil Swain, in uh, it, it was a, a brutal fight for the British. Brutal, title. you know what, mate? I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. That was the hardest fight I've ever had in my life. It's one of the great British title fights of all time. And I'm, you know, I take me out to Neil because he was, an, he was, a, he, he was a tough kid. He was really tough, and because you know he was, he was double hard, you know. It's an hard fight, the hardest fight I've ever had. And, you know, as you've watched my career, I've had loads of good, big, hard fights, but I'd say he was the hardest, hardest man I've ever boxed. There were real momentum shifts in that fight. Did, did it ever feel to you that it was slipping away from you? Yeah, the first round. <laughs> it broke my nose in the first round, you know what I mean? And every time I got hit on my nose, I'm thinking, fuck, fuck, what, you know, what do you do? Because I, you know, I went 10 rounds when my nose broke from the first round. Well, you can imagine the pain I was going through. Every time I got cracks on the nose, with a jab, my nose hurt. And you finished it with a devastating shot. Um, did you think that you would be able to finish it with with a punch like that? I just, you know, as you as you get as you get more and more tired, do you still think that you've got a knockout in you? I just knew. I just well, I had. I was. That's what I was known for. I was. I was a good power. I'd not not quite good. If you look at my record, I knocked quite a lot of people out. Mm. You know, I had a good rock, knockout ratio. ratio, you know what I mean? So I knew if he hit you right on, a, if he hit you all proper, you're gone no matter what. And when I threw that punch, I knew he wasn't getting up from that punch. I knew he wasn't. You can, and you can tell as you see him when he's shaking and, and then I've cracked him again to put him down. Are you proud when people say, you know, it's one of the great British title fights? Do you look back on that and think, yeah, it was? Well, yeah, yeah, because it was, wasn't it? You know what I mean? You do, yeah, I'm not going to lie, you don't see fights like that nowadays, do you? If you look now, you don't see any fight like that. Um, so that made you 19 0. For that fight, Billy Graham was training you. He, he said, actually, in the build up to that fight, that he's not sure that Neil Swain's the right opponent for you. It's not, it doesn't exactly instill you with confidence, does it? No, well, <laughs> well that was it. Like, because I just, I just moved to the gym. I just moved to Billy's gym for that fight because I'd split with Ray, and then I moved to to Billy. I think I, I think I had two or three fights with Billy. Right. And then, and then I went back to Ray, and I seen the difference. You know what I mean? And it was, it was good. I'm not gonna lie. Billy got me, got me fittest, the fittest can you know ever get. Got me. Brought the best out of me, you know what I mean? But um, I still say Ray's a better trainer, 100%. After Swain, you said, uh, you said Swain's one of the toughest men I've ever seen. Uh, but uh, Sorry, Billy said this. Swain's one of the toughest men I've ever seen, but Michael will go on to bigger things. He's improving all the time. Uh, you were rocked and hurt, but how good was Neil? And are you surprised that he didn't kick on and get up to world level where you got to? Yeah, I was really surprised. I thought, wow... You know, I'd, I'd won the British title and I was over the moon and I thought, oh, because obviously you think, I'm going to have to fight him again. He's going he's gonna to want a rematch. And then you never heard now from him then. And I thought, what's going on with him? If you share a fight like that with someone, do you respect them for life? I respect him fully, mate. He's, you know, because what we've done to us both, I'm not going to lie, I, 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 I pissed blood for three days after that fight. Three days I was pissing blood solid. He's the hardest fight I've ever had in my life. You no. Know, Think about it, my nose, broke my nose in the first round, so getting punched in your nose for 10 rounds, 10 three-minute rounds, punched every time. And, and if you watch the fight, it's non-stop. I was getting punched every every time in my nose. It, 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 oh, it not, not me, not me sick. But I knew I knew he'd get him in the end because I was fit. Have you seen him since the fight? I've never seen him since. No, Have you? Never. I know what, I, you know, I speak to his brother, I speak to his, his brother, I think, I'm not sure if he's older or younger. Speak to him now and again on Facebook and ask how is he and I'd, I'd tell his brother what a fight he was in his day.